Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banish. This is Bazker and we're in Baztopia. It's been a little while since I've recorded anything, so um, may have to get my bearings again. Um, hopefully this won't take too long though. And I believe in the last episode we set up um, these pottery barns down here and we started building a dairy. I think that's really the only things we accomplished. It was a really short episode um, and we had some trader issues and I've been playing around with those in my test city and I kind of think I know um, maybe how to take care of it. We're going to see. I've had a lot of great suggestions in the comments and on Reddit, so thanks to everybody who's uh, popped in and said something. That's great. Um, and we'll see what we can um, do to maybe correct some of this issue. We do have a, a farm supplier in. He's got bison, llamas, and pigs, and I think I do kind of want to get some of those, so I'm going to leave him here still for a minute. Um, we might get to that this episode. I'm not sure. We're going to have to build some pens to put them in in order to do that. And we got another one coming in. Um, let's see. So, see, as you can see, we're still trying to get in this stuff here. So, what I tried in one of my test cities was limiting um, down what I had so that I wasn't collecting anything more than what I already had. Let's see, it might be easier to do it this way. So, for instance, if they're still finding pearls, it's been suggested that um, they're going to go after those pearls first because they come before um, full coats or something of that nature um, in the item list. They have a higher priority. Um, statues, firewood, all of this. It, it, so, so what I'm going to do, I thought it'd be easier to do by quantity, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, I'm going to switch that down to 200 of that. I'm going to do uh, 200 firewood, because this is what we already have. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what's causing that. Alright, I guess we won't do it that way, just in case that's what's going on. I may cut some of this out. I'm going to go ahead and zero down the coats again, and the fire bundles. Uh, drop this down to the 180 mark. Hopefully he'll get rid of those. And then I'm just going to let it sit here for a few. Let's see what speed are we on. We're on two times speed. Just for a little bit, I'm going to switch that up to five. I want to make sure that um, this is even going to work. I have no idea. It, it kind of looked like it was working in my test city, but I'm not 100% that it is. And let's see. We've got some more whole components, some tools. I think we're good on tools. Um, pretty sure we're good on lumber, furniture, joists. Yeah, I don't think we need anything from him this time around. I would like to say that this trading issue that we're seeing is caused by having multiple traders, especially with the new uh, Colonial Charter traders. But in the test city, I'm just got the one uh, at the moment that I'm messing with, and he's having the problem too. So I don't think it has anything to do with having multiple traders. Oh, and something else, um, hopefully this episode is recording without black bars and is recording in true uh, 1080. Um, I'm not 100% positive, we're going to find out, it looks really good on my screen. Um, I actually got a new screen, um, uh, I'm just going to say thanks to that person, I'm not going to say who they are, they want to remain anonymous, but I have a new uh, Asus uh, monitor that is um, exceptionally good, I'm really liking it. So thank you to that person. Let's see. We got another trader. Not you. It was a regular trader. Let's see what he's got here. If we evened out our stuff. Yeah, it kind of looks like we have evened out our counts here. So that's good. So we're going to try to add some stuff back here in a second. Let's see, we don't need bamboo. Eh, I don't think we really want coffee, lettuce, chickpea. I think we're good on seeds. At least those seeds. Tobacco might be something we want to get at some point. I'm just going to do 20 coats. Let's just see if he brings in these 20 coats. Ah, and I don't have it set up for this episode. I will make sure and get it for the next episode, but I have the mod to turn off the smoke. Um, and I think that's what's causing some of this lag. So we're going to um, 
we're probably going to um, turn that off for the next episode. Get the dairy up and going. And let's see, let's maybe go ahead and try to build at least one pin. I don't know where I'm going to put it though. Hmm. It looks like about in this general area we could tear out some more logs, which is not a bad idea. We actually need to get rid of this anyways. Um, could build a bridge and put a couple pens over here on this little island. That might be kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll, that'll give us some more wood. Okay, let's see. And I do believe from testing and comments and everything, I'm going to have to get rid of these roads around this orchard, or get rid of this orchard. Um, it's not producing anywhere near the amount of food it should be. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build new orchards, and I'm just going to let this one run until we have the other ones up and going. Um, we might as well get some food out of it. Um, the roads around it, I've mentioned a couple episodes back, uh, that's what's causing the problem. That happens on orchards, and it also happens on animal pens, so I probably am going to have to do something about the roads around these animal pens, too. I love the way they look, but uh, they should be producing more food than they probably are. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I think I'm going to build a bridge. What kind of bridge do we want to build? Do we want to build just a little creek bridge going across here? And that's what they're designed for. I think they have the same walk speed as any other bridge. Let's see. Can we build it here? We can. There? Yeah, we'll build it right there. And once we get that bridge up and going, then we'll start clearing out some stuff over here. And I think, let's see, we're in the autumn, so I don't think this is going to hurt laborers too much. I'm going to remove all the roads around my pens here. The guys from Black Liquid, uh, they're able to fix this. I'm not sure if it's fixable, though, uh, because my understanding is, is it's introduced from the ability to have this pickup button, even though um, you don't have it on... Uh, pastures. Uh, that my understanding is is whatever it took to implement this button is causing the issue with where they can put stuff. I have no idea if that's actually right or not, but it could be. And I expect that it has to do with the fact that a laborer can't walk into the pen, so they had to tell to put it on the outside of the pen. And same thing with an orchard; they probably can't actually enter an orchard. They laborers have to get it from outside the orchard, so they have to have them deliver it just outside. That's my guess. Um, but I don't know that for a fact. So we're going to have people moving kind of slowly through these areas. Um, that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. We may have to do something different with it uh, along the way. Uh, let's see, and we're producing cream, butter, and cheese already. I like the new creameries, the way they work. You don't have to tell them, okay, just cheese or just cream. You, it, they're going to create everything. And let's see. Okay, let's take a look at our trader again. Especially considering we've got another one coming in. Oh, see, he's getting full coats. So, so there's our, um, at least one of the fixes. I don't know if it's every fix, but it's at least one of the fixes. If you find they're not getting the stuff, just limit down what the other things are until they actually have them, because apparently um, what they're doing is they're working top to bottom, uh, and they're filling it in. So if we get rid of, if we ask for a thousand firewood and they haven't got a thousand firewood, but a thousand but firewood's being produced regularly, they're going to keep going for that firewood. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on, but it does appear to be the case. So that's what we're going to assume for now. So we're just going to limit our uh, throughputs and see if that makes a difference. And probably what I should do is some quick math and uh, determine like how many candles does it take to buy the most expensive item. Um, so like if it costs six thousand how many candles do I need to keep in stock and then just keep that amount in there that would probably be the smart thing to do okay let's take a look at our farm supplier before we dump anything out of him I might want to buy some of this stuff so I'm not gonna get rid of anything just yet yeah we probably do have enough to buy some of this stuff so it's just a matter of actually uh, putting stuff in 
Oops, I didn't realize we had an actual traitor. Yeah, I think we're gonna let him go. Okay, so I think we have our trader situation figured out, and we have our bridge. So let's, let's see. Is this a? Oh, that's a material stockpile. I believe logs are considered material, so I don't think this will be a big deal. I'm just going to we're just going to clear out a small little batch of it. I'm going to do it in small batches. Um, something I already knew, but was reminded of uh, recently, was that you know your farmers become laborers in between seasons. So when they're not growing or cutting plants, they're going to become laborers. So that's something to keep in mind. If you got big jobs queued up, um, they may run into problems. Uh, they, they may not get back to their farms in time. I'm going to get rid of this road and this road around here. And there. And there. And there, just to keep things looking decent. This road's okay. In fact, I can leave a couple of these. This is not that big of a deal. Whoops. Interesting. Well, let me cancel the removal there. That's okay. We'll let it go. Um, but a few spots is not a big deal. As long as I got somewhere to put it, it I think you're okay. It's produced anything yet. This must be a relatively new addition that we had because he hasn't ever produced anything. Or he hasn't ever produced anything because we had him completely covered, surrounded in roads and he couldn't do anything. So that's entirely possible. In fact, I'm leaning towards that's the reason. So, case in point, probably. He's got all kinds of chickens. And okay, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you like what you're seeing, click that like button. If you don't like what you're seeing, click the dislike button. But let me know in the comments what you didn't like so I can try to improve. And and if you do like what you're seeing, please think about clicking that subscribe button, and I hope to see you back again next time for another episode of Banished.